That amazing product that always brings out the natural lean meat goodness of beef tenderloin, rump roast, lamb chops, flank steak, beef stroganoff. Cliffland weather fair through most of the weekend with some high cloudiness. High today, 92, low tonight, 68. Current Dallas Love Field temperature, 71 degrees. In Fort Worth, 68. At Cliffland downtown, 73. This is Richard Mock for KLIF Fun Day News. Mom and Papa call a little boy Ned Raise him on the banks of a riverbed A houseboat and tied to a big tall tree A home for my Papa and my Mama and me The clock strikes three, Papa jumps to his feet Already Mama's cooking Papa something to eat At half past Papa, he's ready to go He jumps in his bureau, headed down the bayou He's got fishing lines strung well across the Louisiana rivers Gotta catch a bit fish for us to eat He set her traps in the swamps Catching anything he can Gotta make a living He's a losing and a man Gotta make a living He's a losing and a man Muskrat hides hanging by the dozen Even got a lady make a muskrat's cousin Got a mite drying in the hot, hot sun Tomorrow Papa's gonna turn him into mud They call Mama Rita and my daddy Jack A little baby brother on the floor, that's Mac Brent and Lynn are the family twins Big brother Ed's on the bi-location On the river floor, Papa's great big boat That's how my Papa goes into town Takes every bit of a night and a day To even reach a place where the people stay I can hardly wait until tomorrow comes around That's the day my papa takes a first to town Papa promised me that I could go Even let me see a cowboy So I seen the cowboys and Indians for the first time then I told my papa I gotta go again Papa said, son, we got an ice to run we come back again, first there's work to be done He's got fishing lines strung across the Louisiana River Gotta catch a big fish for us to eat He's setting traps in the swamps, catching anything he can Gotta make a living, he's a Louisiana man Rusty and Doug, uh, got to make a living, the Louisiana men. That's what they are, Charlie and Harrigan back on the air again on KLIF and Big D at 25 before 9 o'clock. It's been a real kick to have some of our friends come in. As you know, Herman is uh, is out there somewhere on uh, the Dallas North Toll Road waiting for the young squirt to bring him 20 cents to get him off the toll road. And uh, we've now learned that the new city hall is going ahead. That's good, and we'll, we'll probably uh, be hearing... You know who hasn't come by yet this who morning? Who hasn't come by yet? We haven't even seen Blinky the Cop. Remember the cop that used to work the beat down there? Blinky Mark. the Cop. He was the guy that invented Cripplers. Do you remember Cripplers? Yes. The aid in helping... Helping the police. I wonder how they, if, if, if everybody recalls that, that was a... Cripplers, as you may recall, were the way to apprehend criminals so they couldn't That's get right. away. It they was couldn't move or they couldn't run. Or... Couldn't do anything. It, it totally immobilized. It hobbled them is what it did. Cripplers were a very, very tight pair of stretch socks, which he used as a, as a substitute for handcuffs. Pulled them right up over their shoes and all, and it cut off circulation to their, to their legs, and they naturally couldn't move. He, uh, he was the only policeman on the Dallas Police Force, as we recalled him, who uh, they would not issue uh, even a gun. Uh, That's right. The only thing he had as a weapon was a little piece of yellow chalk he used to use a lot uh, on tires outside. Or he'd throw it at people. Save, then. save, save. What's the matter, buddy? Got a problem? No, I'm telling everyone how they can save 25% at brake checks pre-Labor Day sales. Sorry, I don't need brakes. You may not, but when's the last time you had them adjusted? Oh, mine are self-adjusting. Lots of luck. Self-adjusting brakes need adjusting or they'll grind right through to your drums. You're putting me on. Besides, all I've got is just a little bitty squeal. Well, friend, spend twelve seventy-five and avoid a big squeal. Brake check offers this pre-Labor Day safety special, save 25%. For only $12.75, we'll completely adjust your brakes. We'll bleed and flush your brake system, inspect the linings of all four wheels, then inspect and rotate all four tires. Regularly a $17 value, only $12.75. So if you have a little squeal on your brakes, avoid a big squeal. 
Visit a brake check center today. Hurry, folks. Brake check has a Labor Day brake adjustment sale. There are 14 brake check locations in this area. See the yellow pages. Dallas, call 521-9984, Fort Worth 336-4451. At brake check, we do it right. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, doing it wrong this morning. Charlie and Harrigan with 72 degrees. Hey, Charlie and Harrigan, how are you? Ladies and gentlemen, Matt, the unemployed jump teller. Big deal. Hey, you from the handy Andy, just knock it off over there. Mac, how are you? You sir, come over here, Mac. Hey, it's you good look, to see you. You, you have an age today. What happened to the audience? Couldn't they get in through the bill collectors? Bill co oh, the bill collectors are outside. All the guys right? outside, yeah. I heard about that. The squirt yeah. came in and said I they paid were off three phone bills coming in. They got gotcha. you. Well, yeah, I took care of some old friends. Uh, Mac, you son of a gun, you look so good. You just, you just look like you've always looked. You look happy, oh, carefree, I'm independent. Doing huh? I'm doing real well. Things haven't changed a whole lot. You know, I'm just uh, still, you know, doing my thing. Uh, yeah. You're still managing you to survive without... Are you still going over every morning, getting the unemployment check over there around the corner at the, uh, at the Family Welfare Center? Are you still living off the government? No, well, I'm living off the government, yeah. But I'm, I'm not getting those free checks anymore. You're not getting free checks, but you're living off the government. What oh, are you yeah, talking I'm about? Oh, yeah, I'm my way, but I'm living off the you government. You mean you've got a job and you're living off the oh, government? Oh, sure, I'm working for the government. Mac, don't take this personally, but I happen to know you and know you very well. You're a dodo, for goodness sake. What kind there of... There is not very much you can do for any government that no, can earn you a wage. I'm gainfully employed and uh, sustaining myself quite well at the hands of the... The, the government of the that state That is one of the problems with the government at the present time. When a nincompoop like you can get a job that, that pays a living wage... An absolute dodo, a nothing, a, 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 a silly... You're just a silly. Nothing whatsoever to contribute to society or the world, and you get a government job, well, huh? I've got myself a position that's pretty good, too, I'll tell you. I've, I've been able to take my talents as the unemployed joke teller for all these years and apply them gainfully to work for the state. For the state. Yes, sir. I got a full-time job. What kind of a job have you got? I write all the speeches for Preston Smith. Why see Soldier Blue? Because it tells it like it was, and still is. Josephy Levine presents Soldier Blue, starring Candace Bergen and Peter Strauss, an Avco Embassy release in Technicolor. Due to the controversial nature of Soldier Blue, no one will be admitted to the theater after the film has begun. You're urged to see Soldier Blue from the beginning, rated R not suitable for young persons, now showing at the Majestic Theater in Dallas and the Worth in Fort Worth. I thought I had recognized Max style. Dorsey Burnett at 21 before 9. Hey! one so far from home and so alone hey little one Just like you I'm lonely too The road of life Is a long, long road When you walk alone Then I found you and I found a love, a love I've never known, love I've never known. Hey, little one, don't. Go away Tell me you stay I wish I could stay, Dorsey, but we've just got 19 minutes remaining of a Charlie and Harrigan program. And 
by golly, it's back to the break shop. Yeah. It has been fun, though. I'll tell you, it really has been a fun morning. I, I just... Well, is that worth a dime or isn't it? Huh? Are we getting paid for doing this? Who gets the dime? Montgomery Ward, you like our style. You can tell by the color of the tags just how big the bargains are at Montgomery Ward. It's Ward's fantastic tag sale, Saturday, one day only, where the yellow tags save you 10 to 20 percent, the orange tags up to 30 percent, and the red tags up to a whopping 50 percent. Examples? Yellow tag bargain, a regular $229.95 sofa for just $189. Orange tag bargain, a regular $69.95 recliner chair for $49.88. Red Tag Bargain, your choice of a regular $79.98 mattress or box spring for just $49.88. These are special buys, floor samples, demonstrators, and other clearance merchandise. All priced to sell Saturday at Montgomery Ward. But hurry, quantities are limited. Montgomery Ward, you like our style. That was Johnny Dark, wasn't it, on there in that commercial? Seems to me like it was. He's going to be on at 9 o'clock this morning, and, of course, all the Cliff DJs are coming back, and it's going to be a big reunion all day long today. We uh, are now at 17 minutes before 9 o'clock, and our morning has just gone by quickly, just quickly. We may have to come back and do this again sometime. Maybe in the fall of 84, maybe we this could... This how you get, how you get the sizzle me straight. Da -da 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 -da. And now... Non-Educational Radio presents Sizzle Me Street, the program that teaches you to be smart. On today's program, Tim and Bubba will try to hang up a princess phone. Rubber Ducky is taken to surgery after diving into the Martini Monster's bathtub and hitting his head on an island. A very large boy will lay a very large egg. And the kindly old candy man sticks two cherry sours in his eyes to win the Ed McMahon Lookalike Contest. But first... There's a free car wash for you Saturday, August 29th at the new United Car Wash, Skillman and Abrams. Free balloons, lollipops, and kites for the kids. Plus, a free wash that'll leave your car really clean. Also to be given away are 25 certificates worth $200 each on any new 1970 Pontiac from Dallas R.O. Women's Pontiac. It's all for you, and it's all free from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. at the grand opening Saturday of the new United Car Wash at Skillman and Abrams. It's for one day only, so don't miss it. Let's join Bernie and the Martini Monster at the local pub. Well, Bernie, I may be a bum today, but I used to be a big sports figure. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, years ago in Indianapolis, I used to race midgets. Did you win very often? Oh, I won all the time. They can't run very fast with those little short legs. Be listening again next time for Sizzle Me Street. And remember, if the federal government is willing to spend millions of dollars for a TV show to educate your children, the least you can do is spend a few minutes trying to keep up. K-L-I-F, 1190, where you're hearing swing, swing, the music sings on K-L-I-F, 1190, Big Cliff. To think that Bill Meeks has lived in luxury on that. I couldn't sleep at all last night. It's on the floor Turn my pillow upside down I never, never did before Because I was tossing and turning Turning and tossing I'm Tossing and turning all night Jumped out of bed Turned on the light I pulled down the shade Went to the kitchen for a bite Rolled up the shade Turned off the light I jumped back into bed It was the middle of the night The clock downstairs was striking four Couldn't get you off the mind I heard the milkman at the door
house that was striking four. There it goes again, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, what a shame. The magic cannon. It's off. It's off. We killed We've it. We've evidently upset the cannon this morning. The magic cannon, of course, is the Charlie and Harrigan emplacement, which is actually triggered to go off at anything that is totally unpalatable to the ear. And uh, it just couldn't accept that. And so, consequently, I would like to take just a moment to say that I... <laughs> it's getting Harry related. Belafonte is Alexander Levine. He is something. I'm an angel and you won't believe that. I don't need angels in my life. Zero Mostel, Harry Belafonte, The Angel Levine, from United Artists, rated GP. All ages, parental guidance. I'm an angel and you better believe it, because I'm the only one you're ever going to get. If he's an angel, imagine what God is like. It's now sharing at the Capri, King Drive-In, and Preston Royal at 12 minutes before 9. And I'm more than happy to find that the magic cannon is still firing and functioning after all these years of it, uh, it was, inactivity. It was dusty with cobwebs, you know, when we came in here this morning, but it's obviously very, very active and very, very well, good. Well, the thing that I'm happy about, I would thought for a minute, Jim Lowe had the range on the studio was what was bothering me. Uh, The Performance Stop features the Philips 66 High Performance Trop Arctic Battery. The battery that gives you up to 29% more cranking power than most original equipment batteries its size. Even if you don't need a battery right now, drive in and fill up with Philips Flight Fuel. It does everything you'd expect of a high performance gasoline. And then some. The Performance Stop Philips 66 Hey, can I do something that'll be fun for me? Why, certainly, go right ahead. Because it's with a good friend uh, who has uh, stayed with me when I was here at KLIF and even over at my current home base across the street over at KVIL. Uh, this guy is one of uh, a dear friend and uh -huh. has been with us all along. And uh, that's Andy Stacio at Shakey's Pizza Parlor. Oh, I love Andy Stacio. Hey, he's got, hey his son is still, uh, is he still associated with it? Very honestly, I, many years ago, if I, and I haven't been in Dallas in many years, but four or five years ago, I guess four years ago, I went in and enjoyed the, the family entertainment with uh, he and his son, very honestly, used to literally bake up the pizzas over there. Mm, I didn't know that. Truly, How yes. How about that? Well, at any rate, I'm talking for Andy Stacio on, on two stations of the same morning this morning. Cause I'm doing it over there and I'm doing it here. And I mean it on both because, uh, boy, that is some kind of operation. And he's some kind of guy. Of course, we know that. We know that going in. Anyway, Shakey's Pizza Parlor and you Public House, I've talked about them for years. Boy, and it's kind of been a nice association. And I think I'm beginning to get heartburn after all this time <laughs> for breakfast. But at any rate, the point is that this is the place for the family entertainment. And they have a slogan that really means it, too. They say we serve fun at Shakey's, also pizza. And uh, it's a combination that's very good because uh, the fun almost comes first and the pizza almost comes secondary, and yet neither would be the same without the other. So it's a happy combination. They know how to put it together. Uh, Andy Stacio and the people at Shakey's Pizza Parlor with six locations around the city, they're all over the place, and each one of them uh, is welcoming you at any time, be it lunch today or, or this evening. Bring the kids and let them romp around, okay? <laughs> Now, let's see. It's nine minutes before nine o'clock in the morning. Hey, wait a minute. What? Oh, wait. Ladies and gentlemen, can you see? Can I help you? Oh, Jay Graham. Wait a minute. Can I help you? Are you, are you all right? Oh, for crying out loud. I believe I split my britches there, didn't I? Ladies and gentlemen. Coming in. Look at that. And I just bought them. It's Blinky the cop. Blinky the good cop. Good morning, Miss Brown, Mr. Hagen. One of good Dallas' morning. finest. It's really good, good to morning. see you again, Blinky. You did split. You, you put a little rip in the pants there. You did that. That's got these two that's, at the Navy store. That's a shame. That's their well, I just wanted to come in and, uh, on behalf of Dallas' finest and welcome you all back to the Big D. Hey, listen, since last we talked, lots of things have been happening at the police department, haven't they? Boy, yeah. Hey, I got a new boss over there. I beg your pardon? I got a new boss over there. Chief Dyson. I got a new boss, yeah. Yes, I'm told he's quite a, he's quite a good oh, man. Oh, he's a fun guy. 
I beg your pardon? Oh, he's a fun guy. You'd have fun with that chief. That's a good chief. We yeah. like that chief. The men seem to like him, do they? I seem like him. He's made a lot of changes over there. Well, yeah, he got rid of some of the people, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. But just the people that you couldn't have fun with, you know? People you can have fun with on there now. Well, that's really good. Got rid of some of them old... Guys, you couldn't have no fun with. You, uh, what 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 ch changes have affected you that he's put in? Anything? Well, no, I, I tell you, I tell you one. I tell you one of the best things he ever done. He let you take home your vehicle now. They are doing that. They they're letting your them, vehicle. They're letting you take the That's cruisers, right. the police cruisers. Well, or in my case, your three wheeler, your sickle. Do you get to, you get to take three wheel sickle home at night? <laughs> You're talking about something you cut wheat with? Or? No, no, no. He's talking. Oh, yeah. His if you motor, want to. His motorcycle. I'll drive it through the week. With, yeah, for my motorcycle, I take it home all the time now and get to... It cuts down, and you know, it's got a lot of good advantages. Well, what do you do with a motorcycle? Well, it does with? a lot of good things. If for one thing, it cuts down on the, on the crime in the neighborhood. Ain't nobody stripped my hubcap since I started bringing it home. Well, hey, that's an improvement right That there. is a step in the right oh, direction, a too. A couple of neighbors, but nobody at my house. Uh-huh, they got, they got the people next door, did they? But I'll tell you something else. You can also, you get to use it your own self, you know. You just drive around and... Well, what do you do with a three-wheel motorcycle at night? Is there a little conspicuous? Go out and park it and collect tolls sometimes. I don't know. Do you go out on the toll road and make a little No, money? any road. You just go out and collect tolls. Uh -huh. And then again, it, I think the best thing I've done with it, I get in free at the theater with it. That's right. K-L-I-F, 1190, where you ain't heard nothing yet. Well, let's, you know, we all... Oh, wait a minute. 1961, of course. I can't You might want to try that again. I think we've just wounded it. Got it. See, that's that. Got it. This little X is in the eyes. There. Eagle Lincoln Mercury. Once again, Eagle dares. Once again, Eagle Lincoln Mercury dares to show why they're number one. Yes, Eagle Lincoln Mercury dares to break the record. At this time of the year, there's only one way to go to the dealer with the right price. And the right price is the lowest price, like you'll find at Eagle Lincoln Mercury. Cougar has proven itself to be a great car to drive, a great car to be proud of. Eagle Lincoln Mercury has air-conditioned Cougars for $29.90. Then there's Marquis, the most luxurious medium-priced car for 1970 from Lincoln Mercury. It has the most dramatic styling since the Continental Mark III. And Eagle has this great car, air-conditioned and loaded, for just $37.99. You can't beat them, and they're available now because Eagle dares, dares to break the record and to set the record straight. Eagle will not lose a customer because of price. Eagle Lincoln Mercury, 6116 Lemon Avenue in Dallas. Five minutes before 9 o'clock, Charlie oh, yeah, and Harrigan time. Oh, yeah, we got time. a lot of things. We got this... Uh, We're talking with Blinky the cop. He's the... Uh, public relay, this uh, advertising agency. One of Dallas... Uh, fi I beg your pardon? Advertising agency is now doing all our stuff for us. You Oh, that's right. The police department has hired... No, they just give us a good image. And they've, they've hired an advertising agency change to... Change the image of the police department. Improve the image of the police department and make idea. it more acceptable in the public eye. People, and I think that's a good move. What have no, they done... we don't fool around the public at all. What, what have they... No, what he doesn't have, mean that you fool with the public. What have they done for you? Well, they've done a lot of things for us. They give us little buttons to wear around. Uh -huh. uh, they, we got little funny stickers we put up in the pay phones. What, is, what do they really do? Are they trying to come up with, you know... Uh, do you come up with commercials or slogans or what? Slog we got a slogan. I think it's a good slogan. They no. brainstorm that slogan. Is it like support your local police or something along well, that Well, I think line? it's better than that. It's a little more catchy, and it's something everybody can kind of get on. How'd they say? Run it up the flagpole. I see. And everybody can dig it. Uh-huh. I think that's the. I think that's how the they're saying it. The slogan is fuzz. No, that's not the slogan. No, they wouldn't use the word fuzz. No, as a matter of fact, if you hire an agency like that and spend all that money, they're not going to even... Oh, that's a big agency. That's yeah, doing. they're not going to blow it on a word like fuzz. What is the slogan? You've got it written down there. I don't think I'm... Where's that there saying? it is. There hold, it is that right out, there. hold that over there. Oh, me. that's a good one. Read it. I think that will really up the I, image. It says, uh, pigs is nice. Why don't you plan to enjoy lunch today at the Zyder Z Seafood Restaurant? Choose from 11, yes, 11 luncheon features served till 3 p.m. All kinds of seafood specials to please you at prices you can afford. So treat yourself to one of the 11 luncheon features served today and every day at the Zyder Z Seafood Restaurant. 
Let's go today. It's the lunchtime place to be. Hey, there's an idea for you. Let me tell you, friends and neighbors, in Radio Land is three and a half minutes before nine o'clock, and it's almost time for us to get out of here, and I don't even... I may not go. Wouldn't it be... Did, you know the Gordon McClendon pattern for uh, setting a town on its ear in the old days used to be to come on, and, and the DJ locked himself in the room and played the same record over and over, and I'd kind of... I don't care about playing the same record, but I'd kind of like to lock myself in the studio here and just work out? Wouldn't it be fun? Well, since they put a John in here, it'll help an awful lot. Uh, they've really, uh, they've upgraded this place. He's speaking, of course, of John Dark, who's coming in, ladies and gentlemen, at 9.05 this morning. However, before we no, get to that... No, that's not what I was saying. What, Jim and I... what I was saying is they put... That's what he was saying, folks. Would you stand over there when you say those things? I'd get too close. It's back to bowling time. That's what that explosion means. 30 cents a line. Gee whiz, they're blowing their top, folks. Come on and bowl for half price any time through Labor Day. It's back to bowling time in Dallas at Cotton Bowling Palace. Lemon Avenue at Inwood Road and in Arlington at Great Southwest Lanes next to Six Flags. Fall leagues are forming, so you sharp it up and get acquainted during half-price days, huh? Bowl anytime through Labor Day at Cotton Bowling Palace. Open 24 hours at Lemon Avenue and Inwood Road in Dallas. And at Great Southwest Lanes next to Six Flags in Arlington. That's half-price bowling, 30 cents a line. That's a 1961 price for you, man. Anytime through Labor Day at Cotton Bowling Palace, Lemon Avenue and Inwood Road in Dallas. And at Great Southwest Lanes, next to Six Flags in Arlington. Okay, the whole gang is here, ready to welcome Johnny Dark, the entire KLIF staff. How have you liked our show so far? What do you think of it, gang? Huh? Is it good? You dig it? Good. Thank you very much. They wouldn't say a word. They wouldn't say a word. I see that they haven't replaced the equipment around here. <laughs>